All right, Shalom. This is the brother Mayum coming at you from GMS Tampa Bay. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachak Wadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Much blessing and citations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out this truth and this truth and sincerity. So I want to do a video uh, real quick on uh, on um, being more self uh, controlling of your anger. All right, we especially uh, younger brothers, you know, that are coming into this truth. You know, um, you know, I know me personally. Back when I was in the world, you know, if I was to become angry, you know, I I, I would snap, you know, real quick. You know, it wouldn't take much, and I would, you know, I, I'd be ready to punch a hole in the wall, and you know, things like this. And it's uh, especially when you come into this truth, you know, you're gonna have certain things that start to happen to you. And uh, you're going to want it. There's times where it, it frustrates you or you might get really pissed off, but you got to have more self-control and uh, not let those things really get to you and uh, not give place uh, to Satan. All right. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get into a few scriptures here. And uh, Lord willing, you brothers are edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, but first and foremost, let me get this scripture here. This is going to be Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9. And it says, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. And that's right, man. You know, we, when we were in the world, we were nothing but straight fools. And uh, Salakia, if um, I kind of um, stopped speaking from time to time, or if you hear noise in the background um, in transit, uh, right now, so just uh, Bubba Kashar, bear with me, Akim. Uh, but let me read it again. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 9, Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth, anger resteth in the bosom of fools. All right? And when we were in the world, we definitely were fools, man. All right? And so we coming into this truth, we're putting off that old man, and we're becoming new creatures. So we have to put off that foolishness, man. And we just read that anger resteth in the bosom of fools. So that's one of the things that we have to, especially being in this flesh, you know, it, it's not an easy thing to, to, um, you know, something, something stupid happened to you, you know, like your car might break down or, you know, and then you fix that, whatever just broke. And then immediately something else breaks, you know, and you, you really, what you want to do is just, you know, drive the car into the lake or, 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 you know, punch a hole in a wall or something. But, you know, you gotta, uh, you know, control yourself you know, and and meditate, and remember that you know we're we're not we're new creatures, man. We're new creatures in this in this in this truth, man. You know, and we got to put those those things behind us and not let anger rule rule over us. All right, um, but I got I got a, the scriptures here highlighted that I have I want to bring out, so I'm gonna kind of bring them up kind of randomly, uh, but just bear with me because I mentioned one. Um, all right, here goes Ephesians. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23, and it says, And be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on that new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be ye angry and sin not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. You see, so it says, "Be ye angry and sin not." So yeah, you'll be pissed off about whatever it might be. You you might have just found out your baby mama put you on child support, or you know, Satan Satan hopped on one of your bosses, and and uh, you got let go, you know, for 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 nothing really, you know. So you 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 ready to you ready to punt, you know, knock knock somebody out, man. You you just. You know, <clears throat> you know, whatever it is that you're going to do, man, the scripture said, be ye angry and sin not. But one thing I want to point out on verse 23, it says what? And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. All right. Of your mind, man. And so you see, when we become angry, we're we, Hey, man, just remember that we are renewed. If you're a sincere brother in this truth, man, and you're laboring for your how about shimmy out shy. Be always remember that we are we are renewed in our mind. We are new, renewed in the spirit of our mind. You know we have a whole different spirit that is on us, and we cannot we we're not supposed to be acting like we were when we were in the world, man. Especially when it comes to uh, anger, man, because out of anger comes a lot of mistakes. You know you might be angry, and and you you do something stupid, man. You know, 
So, and then what? Then you regret it or you might get, you might, you know, there's going to be re repercussions for something that you might have done. So it's always remember that we are renewed in the spirit of our mind. All right. That's what the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai does for us, man. It gives us that, that, um, that, 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 um, what's the word? The, um, it gives us that reassurance of things are going to be okay no matter what, man. All right. Because one, for one, we, hey man, we, we, we're going to receive a kingdom. Lord willing, we are the elect. We're going to receive a, a great reward for the things that we're doing and the things that we're having to endure. You know, we, as men of the Lord and as, 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 as being a member of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's body, we have, we're going to go through uh, things and that's pursuant to the scriptures, man. We're going to go through things on this path and we have to know that we got we're gonna go through them regardless man so what's the point of, of you getting upset to the point to where you know you you're, you're doing stupid shit man you're punching holes in walls or you're, you're throwing your phone on the floor or you punch a hole in your window you know so stupid stuff you know you know and i i know i'm i'm guilty i'm guilty of things man but hey through through the seasons i've i've, I've learned you know i've learned to control my anger you know the best that i can you know, sometimes, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, um, we might, uh, waver, but you know, that's the, that's the whole point of, of, of us going and being here in this flesh, man. And, and because we have to, we have to appreciate the righteousness because when we get, when we get those spiritual bodies, brothers, we're not going to have to, we're not going to be with no, um, no bullshit, man. We're going to be made perfect right now. We're in this fleshly body it's weak you know we we lose our, our we lose our mind sometimes when when things happen to us you know when you know but hey it's all a part of this um a part of this trial man that we're going through all right <clears throat> let me get another precept here uh where was it um all right um this is Proverbs 16 and 32. It says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that, that taketh the city. So you see, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, man. All right. So when we go through things, brothers, when we when we get that that like um that rage, when you when you get that 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 red pill rage, you know, you feel like you're ready to snap. You know, hey, the scriptures say oppression, uh, oppression maketh the a wise man mad. You know, sometimes we're going through things uh, with work or, you know, you're sick and tired of getting up or having to deal with this or that, man. And you ready to just snap, man. But, hey, man, it says he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. Hey, and, and, hey, we have the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. We're supposed to we're supposed to act like the, like we're above everybody else, man. Here it is. You're. You're going through stuff and, and yeah, hey man, there's I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with becoming upset, but when you when you become out of control upset, you know, and like I said, I've 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 come to that before, man. You know, and Lord willing, you know, the Lord, you know, I repented of that and the Lord forgives me. You know, but we gotta be new creatures because we are renewed in the spirit of our mind. And we have to be slow to anger because we have the spirit of the Lord on us, and that alone makes us mightier, mightier than the mighty. So we have to we have to act like it, man. We have to act like like hey, hey man, like like we already in like we we have those bodies, man, them, them celestial bodies. We're like like we always say with the uh, with the laws, man. We're rehearsing the righteous acts. Hey man, well is is it not would it not be a wise thing to also um practice rehearse the how you how you should act? Or how you should handle situations by remaining calm, processing things in your mind, meditate, pray to the Most High. You see, those are those, that's what uh, that is what is um that's what is is is, is a part of being in this in the spirit, man. Abounding in the spirit and not letting things get get a hold of you, man. Because when you get out of control with anger or whatever it might be. Then, then, hey, like the scripture says here, man, it says, and he that 
and he that ruleth the spirit than he that taketh the city, man. So it's like you don't, you can't, you have no control over your own spirit when you when you get like that, man. You know. And hey, for you brothers that are just coming into this truth, man, prepare yourself to go through things that you're gonna want to lose your damn head, man. But remember that you have to keep control of yourself, man. Control yourself through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Okay? Don't don't try to uh control yourself with things that you used to do when you was in the world to calm yourself down, man. Because that's not gonna work in this. Alright? It's not. It might work for a little bit, but ultimately one day you're just gonna explode, man. Because you're just, you know, you're just bottling things in, man. But control yourself, man. You know, pray to the most high, vent to the most high, man. Hey, that, if you don't, if, hey, man, vent to a brother. You got to, you, you go, you pissed off about something, man. You call a brother up, man, and be like, hey, yo, I, you know, man, just, uh, you know, just calling you up. You know, I'm, you know, a little upset right now. I need someone to talk to, you know, just, uh, man, you know, blah, 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 man. And then, and, and you know what, at the end of the phone call, I guarantee you, you know, you're going to go through a few precepts with the brother. The brother will give you a few precepts on whatever the matter is. And you know, I guarantee you 100% by the end of that phone call, you're going to feel a whole lot better, man. You're going to feel a whole lot calmer. It's not going to be on your mind so much. All right? And that's where, that's where wisdom comes in, man. Let me get this last one, and then I'm going to close out on this one. Uh, this is Proverbs. I believe it's Proverbs 25 and 28. And it says, he that had no rule over your, his own spirit. So you see, we had we had one that um we just read. It says, he that hath rule over his spirit, like one that greater than, he's he shot, he's greater than a man who uh, taketh the city. So now let's see the, the other end of it. It says, he that had no rule over his spirit. So you're losing control. of you, you, Every time you, you, you're angry, you, you're punching holes in walls, you're throwing shit. You know, you, you break holes in your window. You know, these are all things that happen when you're out of control, man. When you're angry as hell, man, and you, you got no control over your own spirit. You know, sometimes, man, I get so frustrated, man, where that, that, that flesh comes in, man, and I grab my phone, or I grab something real close, man, and I'm ready to throw it on the floor, and then I catch myself, man. And, you know, see, that it, it, I'm not trying to put myself on no pedestal or anything like that, but... I, 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 it took it, it took me a while to get to the point to where I'm not throwing shit no more, man. I used that's something I used to do in the world. Pissed off, talking on the phone with somebody, and I'm pissed off at them, or or I'm trying to work on a car, and I just can't seem to get a bolt off, man. And I was, you know, I used to just get throw shit on the on the floor or wherever, man, out of, out of rage, out of, out of anger. But now, you know, I've gotten to that point to where. You know, it, you know, I, I'll catch myself, man. Sometimes we gonna we gonna slip up, man. We in the flesh, you know. And I, I'll, you know, I, I'll, you know, hey, you gotta you gotta calm yourself with the spirit, man. Take up to, before you do anything, man. Always, always meditate on the spirit, man. Pray to the Most High to give you that 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 uh peace of mind. It says, but it says here, he that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. And what happens to a city that that is broken down and without walls? It over it, it becomes um, overcome. And in this case, what are you gonna? What are you allowing to overcome you? Is is Satan, man? Because that's what Satan wants us to do. Satan is trying to get us a part of this truth, man. And Satan will send them demons to hop on you to lose your mind, and you lose control. And what? You, you, now your guard is down. Your walls are down. And now Satan hop on you, man. And you do something that you're going to regret later. That's going to have severe re repercussions. That's why we have to be able to control our spirit in this thing, man. All right? Even even, even so when we're, when we're at camp as well. You know, somebody might come up, you know, causing problems, man. You got to remain calm in the spirit. You can't lose your mind and start getting... He's so heated to where you're ready to lay hands on somebody, you know, then you cause a huge riot, you might get arrested. So you see, it's, it's, it's important for brothers to uh, be able to delegate their spirit in this truth, man. All right. But, you know, I, like I said, you know, I'm in transit here, so I don't want to make it too long. You know, I'm kind of looking down at the at the scriptures and, you know, I don't want no, no, no centurion to pull me over or anything like that. So, uh, 
you know, Lord willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Um, until next time, I say Shalom.